I think Viviksa has joined here. So are you there? Yes, hi ma'am. Hi. Good morning. So uh, we would like to begin the session. Good yes, morning to all the students and parents present here. Good morning, our respected principal ma'am, vice principal ma'am. Good morning, Mr. Vivek Vashne. We are very happy to conduct this career counseling session 
for students of the 10th batch who did not have to sit for their, unfortunately, for their uh, board exams, which would have given them a kind of idea of what they would do or which subjects they would want to take in the future. So hence, for this reason, to give them a clear idea, we are arranging this workshop. Uh, we have Vivek sir who will tell you about, you know, the different prospects that you have. And uh, depending on the subjects you choose in the 11th and 12th CBSE, uh, the kind of prospects that would open up to you, the kind of career choices you can make. And most important, you would, you'll be able to do what you like when you grow up. So for that, we have invited him. I would just like to give you a short introduction of Mr. Vivek. Uh, Mr. Vivek possesses a rich experience of teaching and uh, 15 years of experience in the field of education and innovation. He has, a seven, he has seven years of experience in the teaching field also. He's the founder of Speed Labs, which is a personalized education platform. He's the alumni of IIT Kanpur and IE Lucknow. Uh, he has designed a hybrid pedagogy with the right balance between AI, edtech, and classroom teaching, as well as AI and machine learning technology in educational delivery. He has redesigned the curriculum to deliver effective learning. He has successfully published international patent for the new teaching methodology. He is working towards strengthening the pillars of education in a world with a vision that personalized education is the bridge between dreams and capabilities. His speed labs strives for a conceptual thinking driven world. Let us all welcome Mr. Vivek. Vivek, sir, you're most welcome here. Before we proceed to the session, I would request Ms. So much energy, our principal, to say a few words. Thank you. Uh, good morning, everyone. Good morning, Mr. Vivek, and good morning, parents. It's a good afternoon, I'm sorry. Good afternoon to all. I uh, welcome you to this session. I know all of you are going through tough times, but I believe all of you are in good health as well. In these times, health is more important. But I am also, uh, my heart goes to all of you as you have to now decide with your future, you, to which line to step in and so, so many other um, uh, formalities to do. So please do not worry. We have Mr. Vivek here to take you forward as a pathfinder. And also he will tell you what are the ways and means to move ahead. So please listen to Mr. Vivek. We will have a question answer session at the end. Please clear your doubts, whatever you have. Thank you all. Start the session, please, Mr. Vivek. And you, uh, you, uh, you need to raise your voice also. You are a little, uh, your voice pitch was a little low, if you can raise it. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you very much, uh, ma'am. And uh, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome you uh, to this session. The idea of this session is to uh, briefly tell you all the options which are available to you after 12th. And for that, you can make a decision now and accordingly uh, curate your path and learning journeys. So I will share the presentation. And uh, then uh, it is a 25 to 30 minutes presentation. And after that, typically we have a 20 to 30 minutes Q and A, okay? That is students, sir wants to say that once you go through the presentation, allow him to speak. At the end, he will answer all your questions, but we have to wait till the end of the session for the questions. Okay, so, uh, so as we all understand the new age career options include many options which were not present uh, earlier and which are evolving and growing. And uh, I will start with the very common uh, career options for the science students, which is engineering. And uh, engineering uh, has been uh, there uh, a great employer for last 25 years in India. And uh, the way technology is growing in every aspect of life, it will continue uh, growing from, you know, uh, food tech to health tech to fintech to ed tech. Every segment, every part of life, the technology is continuously increasing its uh, contribution. 
again the careers in engineering is across various domains various uh, branches and uh, uh, as we all know that for getting uh, admission into an engineering college nowadays there are competitive exams so i have listed down the exams which are important and for which 11th and 12th become the preparation years so je main exam is uh, a common entrance exam for uh, you know 100 plus engineering colleges as well as uh, iit uh, triple iits and nits and many government and private colleges also accept the scores and rank uh, are given by je main exam it is open for all maths and science uh, students who have taken maths as a you know part in 11th and 12th and uh, this exam is uh, conducted uh, two times so in covid year that government decided to conduct it four times typically it is a three hour exam and is conducted twice a year uh, in january as well as in april uh, and then there is a next round uh, uh, advanced level exam which is a, a exam for getting admissions into iits uh, there are other colleges uh, uh, like uh, bits and manipal and vellore etc who conduct their own exams for example bits has four campuses pilani hyderabad goa and uh, dubai and they conduct a exam called bitset maharashtra has a entrance exam called mst cet uh, from which you can get admissions into the top colleges in maharashtra including uh, uh, vjti sardar vallabhbhai patel college and uh, pune college of engineering uh, there are many good colleges in nagpur uh, nasik uh, aurangabad and uh, then uh, there are other colleges which are outside of maharashtra and some of them offer specific courses then another stream which is very popular among students is design and architecture and the most popular entrance exam for that is nata which uh, has components of maths uh, a little bit of drawing and designing and through which you get admissions into nift nifd nid and uh, iit bombay also conducts a uh, entrance exam for the courses offered by iit in architecture uh, i have divided the uh, engineering in two pieces one is more uh, you know uh, forward looking and growing uh, uh, areas which is computer science engineering electrical electronics uh, information technology telecommunications semiconductors data science machine learning artificial intelligence and also biotechnology as a you know group field in which we have microbiology micro uh, genetics etc and then there are traditional engineering like uh, mechanical chemical civil electrical metallurgy manufacturing instrumentation uh, textiles production etc these have been there and continue to give uh, employment but in the core sector but uh, these are not like uh, super rapidly growing uh, areas so most of the students uh, in my personal advice unless you are passionate about a core sector it will be good if you stick to the the top portions which are more uh, software and hardware uh, development segments these are the institutes names and their uh, websites uh, for iit then there are 30 nits Uh, uh bits uh, then there are uh, other is, uh, specific courses like space science then there are triple iits which are offering uh, many job opportunities directly into the software uh, uh, companies now coming to the medicine uh, the most popular course remains mbbs and as we all know the number of hospitals number of uh, medical seats is growing over last 6 to 8 years very very rapidly Uh, the number of candidates taking neat exam is has almost doubled from 8 lakhs to currently 15 lakhs uh, every state is adding uh, uh, hospitals government hospitals and medical seats even center has uh, added more than 7 uh, or more, um, almost 8 aims uh, in last 6 years so uh, um, given the have focus on uh, building a healthcare infrastructure in the country um the it would remain uh, one of the most popular career options uh, those who want to serve uh, in the field of medicine uh, mbbs followed by md for a specialization is uh, a direct choice then there are many courses in dental uh, which are also you know coming up and they give you a very good long term career options there are courses which are uh, paramedical which are not like surgical mainly or um, so they are like bachelors of pharmacy diploma in pharmacy and phd in pharmacy uh, then there are indian medicine courses including ayurveda uh, 
uh, allied health science courses which include the hospital management uh, nursing and uh, uh, other health care management uh, issues which is physiotherapy etc these courses are also there in uh, medicine the common entrance exam for both mbbs and bds is uh, neat which gives you admissions to all the government colleges private colleges as well as aims earlier aims uh, used to have their own uh, separate exam uh, the armed forces medical colleges have uh, exam called afmc uh, then jip mer and then there is a small exam for ayurveda institute so neat again as i told you is a 3 year uh, a 3 hour exam uh, normally is conducted once a year typically it happens in may and or june uh, for last uh, last year it happened in october this year also likely it will happen in august or september but it is a common single exam 3 uh, hour exam 720 marks and uh, typically if a student score above 600 they get into good colleges for this uh, physics chemistry and biology three subjects uh, you have to prepare during 11th and 12th now then uh, other than engineering and medicine there are many other uh, growing courses uh, uh, with the help of pure sciences and uh, statistics remains one of the growing employer so if somebody has interest in maths and statistics they can pursue maths in uh, graduation and after that uh, you know in market research and data science uh, along with a few certification courses you can get a job in uh, analytics division of company and every company nowadays building an analytics division uh, which uh, uh, recruit both engineers as well as maths and stats graduate uh, to conduct uh, the research on their data then in the field of uh, biotechnology biochemistry microbiology bioinformatics uh, we have courses which are non uh, non mbbs courses and uh, uh, people take uh, bsc and msc in these courses and effectively they grow uh, in these courses and uh, investment uh, in the research of these fields is growing uh, many organization are building capacity to have a deeper research and more uh, manufacturing capacities in this for both uh, animals as well as plants now i will come to the courses which are focused for non science uh, like non pcm non pcb students so first i will start with the commerce uh, side uh, courses uh, so the most preferred or most glamorous uh, job there is chartered accountant uh, which is growing significantly earlier the icai institute which conducts the exam uh, used to give very low pass rate about 1% 1 to 2% but last uh, you know 6 years there have been many more regulations including gst and uh, other complicated laws for which uh, even small and medium scale industries are uh, required to be compliant and uh, their dependency on ca is, is growing and the institute is also increasing the pass rate so nowadays uh, about 6 to 7% uh, candidates are being uh, passed and it is a good uh, long term sustainable career with obviously no retirement i mean your knowledge grows and uh, you can build a very long term career in this field coming to the non accounting related jobs which is banking insurance financial advisory wealth management uh, as the population is shifting from rural to uh, you know uh, urban areas uh, their uh, investment patterns are getting more sophisticated their insurance needs are getting more sophisticated and it is requiring more and more people to be absorbed in these sectors and this could offer a very long term career coming to a management roles which are i mean i have listed down the six main uh, departments sales marketing operations production strategy and hr and uh, people find their uh, passion uh, somebody is very extrovert you know loves to talk to people can go for sales if somebody is more uh, you know operations discipline structure driven go to operations production st strategies for those who want to you know analyze and make decisions at a larger picture hr is more uh, you know building organizations taking care of everyone uh, you know uh, uh, is uh, complying with the rules and regulations of the company etc and uh, there are courses offered by iims uh, immediately after 10 plus 2 which is a five year integrated program and there is a competitive exam called ip mat which is required for uh, admissions into these five year programs 
and uh, similarly there are courses in hospitality and hotel management also for those who uh, you know enjoy uh, going into the hospitality sectors and it all nowadays a new thing is coming uh, a travel management courses so uh, tour traveling and touring uh, before covid was growing one of the as one of the fastest growing sectors uh, and uh, i'm sure once things stabilize in a long term it could again come back now coming to some very rapidly growing courses in the humanities so obviously traditional humanities sociology uh, psychology economics etc continue to remain in demand but there are new age uh, careers which are more on film making photography fine arts uh, you know designing blogging youtubing all these um, new uh, career options are emerging there are many people who are making decent income on uh, youtube because they come up with the content and nowadays everyone is looking for a good quality content uh, including you know the netflix and the amazon primes and the uh, the most of the ott uh, platforms so, so this, these are creative fields so if some of you are very passionate about you know creative career which could include uh, you know dance, uh, dancing singing acting uh, film making photography etc etc Uh, these are the uh, you know one of the fastest growing careers but again uh, in not in terms of number because they don't em uh, employ a very large scale population uh, but lucrative long term sustainable careers if you have passion for it and then uh, journalism and public relation uh, both you know within the organizations as well as outside of the organization these are the roles uh, both as an employee as well as consulting uh, basis Uh, so the courses typically are chosen by the students in graduation are uh, print and mass communication advertisement etc then the next segment uh, where many people uh, take up jobs are government government jobs uh, uh, civil services and defense uh, some of these courses are immediately after 12th and some of them are after graduation so the students and the parent make a very clear choice that okay we want to pursue that and that preparation effectively starts from graduation but some of them also start from 11th onwards so uh, defense services through nda and uh, you know merchant navy is a, a good option but again it is not a sector which employs too many people very very few uh, institutes and uh, uh, limited opportunities there civil services obviously is, uh, you know government jobs are one of the biggest employers in india and uh, it continues to offer opportunities in multiple domains but most of them are after graduation uh, there are very few options uh, after 12th also so with the uh, with this i have uh, come to practically the end of my formal presentation of 20 25 minutes and i think uh, similar to previous sessions uh, it will be very good if we can have uh, you know more and more interactions from the parents and students and uh, i can take up questions and the course coordinators uh, from the school can also ask uh, a few questions if they want yes we like the students to ask their questions or you can type them also in the chat box Yes, are you able to speak? Okay, there is one question here. How to pursue a career in forensics investigation? Is there a graduation? So, What are uh, the other options beside UPSC to enter in this field? So, investigation and forensics are very very specific uh, careers. I mean. Uh, most of them are uh, employed by government but there are some personal uh, i mean private uh, forensic and detective agencies also uh, these are uh, the course there are uh, not uh, you know super specific courses offered by many universities they are more uh, very specific courses where the selection happens first and the training happens later so there is lot of on the job training typically uh, these are open after graduation and bsc is uh, one of the most preferred graduation for that but 
at the same time uh, uh, through upsc even non uh, science uh, graduates like humanity psychology etc these uh, these uh, graduates are also inducted in uh, forensic services uh ex this is my question and uh, i would also like to inquire one thing uh, like besides uh, um, uh, we have this course in mumbai university but uh, admission to that is bsc forensics so, uh, so i need to know where is bsc forensics done it is there in mumbai institute of forensic science it's a very big institute it is indian institute of forensic science basically that is there in mumbai and people from all across the world come and get trained there my question is the qualification to enter there for msc forensics is bsc forensics now where do we get this bsc forensics course from same institute is also offering bsc forensics mm. and other thing is that for msc forensic many um, students who have not done bsc forensics are also eligible okay and uh, is there any kind of uh, competition exam for bsc forensics entrance or it is uh, like straight after 12th we can get the admission based on the percentage etc uh, i will be honest i have i don't have expertise in this uh, specific domain but i have noted down this question i will uh, do the research and i will send the answer to the school coordinator who can send it to you yeah please and also like if at all we need to go for like uh, we are not uh, able to go for bsc forensics and we need to go for msc forensics uh, there is another qualification mentioned bsc now bsc in which stream should help for that's what i told BSc you forensics? that's what i told you all the graduates of bsc whether you are taken physics chemistry or math everyone who has a science education uh, till graduation is eligible but uh, i will just do little bit more research and send you that my understanding is that all bscs are allowed okay fine enough thanks very much okay so there is another question what exactly is public relations so public relation is uh, you know there are companies who have how do you think the news comes into the newspaper so there are coverages which are driven by the newspaper coverage but at the same time there are coverages which are uh driven by the organization and the reason why these organizations conduct such coverages in the print or the digital media uh is to ensure that the right vision and mission of that organization is conveyed to the larger society and the right reputation and perception is built around their products so if somebody wants to you know build a reputation about quality so we we convey our thoughts and uh, our messages uh, focused on quality throughout if somebody wants to uh, convey a message on uh, value for money so they want to convey the the message around value for money so any organization has a particular mission and a vision and also uh, corporate values and their targets so if a company wants to uh, enter into a new segment so they think from all the perspective advertisement is just one part of it and uh, pr management is another part of it which uh, goes beyond the advertisement where you use the influencers to speak about you you use the uh, media coverage or the advertorials uh, to manage your uh, reputation and these are very strategically done exercises of with a long term vision uh, sarthak does that answer your question I think he was trying to ask also that what would he have to study if he wants to land up in this kind of a job? Could you help him with that? So, a public relation per se, there are very few courses which are specifically targeted for public relation. But uh, typically, you know, uh, mass communication, uh, journalism, and public relation, all these courses are combined, and uh, then you choose as per your career, you know, where you start your journey. Uh, very very specific pr courses are not much there it is a part of a larger communication management uh, multimedia and mass communication and journalism so these are the bucket of courses you can choose and through which you can curate your career uh, towards the public relations thank you sir i'm sure this has answered his question next sir i have one uh, question Am am I audible? Yes, yes, you are yes, audible. Yes, sir. sir, you are. I have one 
Yeah, I have one question like uh, for engineering courses, this uh, uh, data science, data analytics, and AI comes under which branch? I think yes. like uh, uh, which branch uh, we should select to go into this field. So there are two things. First thing is that uh, every in soft every engineer can uh, take take up these courses with the certain certifications, right? So there are certifications offered in the field of uh, data science, machine learning, as well as uh, as well as artificial intelligence, because all of them require basic uh, understanding, logical flow, and lot of coding. Okay. and there are models uh, which uh, which are there to do you know image based uh, artificial intelligence or a video based or a sound based uh, multiple options are emerging then in addition to that many universities are also offering dedicated four year courses for data science uh, as well as artificial intelligence which are non engineering courses so the candidate can choose uh, if they are super clear that they want to build these courses even in mumbai like i can give you an example narsi munji narsi munji has been offering data science courses for last 5 years it's a full fledged uh, four year graduation course and uh, uh, other software engineers or the normal engineers are also building uh, their expertise uh, by taking up uh, certifications so there is no specific course for engineering for uh, uh, this uh, data analytics and uh, ai no no, no no sir uh, with all engineering streams you can build uh, your capacity as you, and as you said that uh, it requires lot of coding and other things so i guess uh, computer engineering cs would be helpful if we uh, go with the cs and after that we do the certification course in these fields yeah yeah so in fact cs courses itself uh, will have electives and will have compulsory courses on data science as well as artificial intelligence and machine learning so nowadays this it has become a compulsory course earlier it used to be elective but nowadays most of the engineering colleges including all iits have made it compulsory for the computer science engineers to go through these courses uh, sir if i may add something even you do bsc msc and higher levels you can also go for these courses as certification courses and then you do land up as a uh, with a job on data analysis So it's not yes, necessarily yes, that you have to have an engineering background, isn't it, so, sir? Yes, yes. In fact, the Narsi Munji course, which is offered, is not an engineering course. It is a BSc with the data science. Okay. I'm sure that has answered your question, sir. Could we go to the it's next okay. question, please? Yes. Sure. Okay. Uh, BSc social work is that a nice career option? Uh, again, I mean, uh, last session also there was a question about social work. i will be very honest uh, i don't have the right expertise to answer this question uh, my personal understanding is that social work comes from within it's a it's, it's a different passion required for that and uh, there are obviously uh, careers regarding that there are companies which are built around the social work like keto you might have heard milap you might have heard impact guru you might have heard uh, so there are you know uh, there are areas Uh, where there is lot of uh, money available across the world which wants to help uh, the underprivileged sections of the societies in all countries and uh, it could be a very satisfying career uh, but i don't have a deeper expertise on this domain uh, i think social work would also come as a part of sociology you study sociology social work is no, part no. of that then in higher levels also this has sociology uh, courses on sociology higher levels on social uh, work sorry social work this does have in some of its camp campuses sociology could be but uh, a sociology is a very different humanity course it has a different uh, you know uh, different courses but social work probably uh, could be uh, how to work with ngos how to articulate the vision mission of the ngos how to operate the ngos all these things uh, uh, but i as i said i i am not the right person hmm. to answer this so data this as you call that you can go to the site and find out i'm talking to the student here who was interested in social work as sir said next question please uh hello ma'am hello vivek sir um, yes, i'm elder brother of sarthak biniwale my name is shantanu biniwale Uh, yes. my question regarding this was uh, can we please discuss the career op opportunities in economics and accounts yeah sure so economics yeah, and you. accounts 
accounts uh, i for accounts i told already uh, the basic uh, um, can be you know the banking uh, chartered accountant and the accounts department of all the organizations where you require uh, to manage the accounts including you know the you know all the cash flow balance sheet um, uh, the income statements uh, and the entries and the validity of the transactions and ultimate uh, you know the business management uh, from the accounts point of view uh, from for the economics again economics is uh, growing uh, as a career option for many students and uh, economics can be split into two macro and micro and both have different uh, career options uh, in terms of employer there are three categories uh, which employ the economics graduate one is obviously the governments so all the governments uh, and various uh, you know parts of the government uh, employ the economists because they want to forecast the data for many things including the demographics uh, income levels cost expenses infra need etc etc the second set of employers are uh, uh, stock market investment banks uh, consultings like mckinsey bcg bain etc and third is the uh, corporates and organizations because every organization want to understand what is going to happen in future in terms of demand and supply so if suppose uh, maruti wants to know what kind of uh, income levels will be there in tier 3 towns after 4 years so that they can start planning uh, to launch a product and accordingly uh, price it properly so uh, all the organizations uh, uh, employ uh, economists and uh, they do have their focused research investment bank and stock markets are the obvious one because they want to uh, predict which country which state uh, which industry which segment which sector is growing the fastest so that they can advise their uh, uh, clients to invest in those sectors so these are the three segments just to summarize again uh, governments uh, investment uh, funds uh, uh, investment banks um, uh, uh, other kind of funds and the third is the corporates all the big corporate houses employ uh, economists uh, does that answer your question uh, yes pretty much thank you so much sir great thank you yeah it was great Hello sir I'm Joshita I want to do BSc in psychology I googled about this course and I got to know that I can pick any stream in 11th and 12th I just need a good score in 12th to get an admission in a college I'm not keen on uh, picking up humanity traditionally people pick humanities in 11th and 12th when they want to do psychology because they get to have psychology as a subject i'm not keen on studying social science in 11th and 12th so mm. is it fine if i do a subject like commerce uh joshita if you want to go for psychology then uh, uh, i have two advices one uh, you can either take the typical arts with the psychology Uh, and uh, you know social studies which will require sociology philosophy and other things or you could also pick up science with the psychology option so uh, i am not sure uh, which all uh, you know colleges or the schools are offering this combination but uh, there are these are the options which are available and in fact to be honest there are many uh, students who do a normal uh, maths and science uh, pcm in 11 12 12 and they go for psychology i uh, we know i know personally about a few students from bombay scottish mahim uh, who took a typical uh, physics maths and psychology and english and one more subject as elective and uh, uh, currently pursuing psychology from uh, narsi munji in mumbai itself sir are so, there a lot of schools in navi mumbai who provide this combination i that i am uh, not sure uh, my not my expertise per se but uh, i think you can just uh, call out uh, on a few schools and figure out what they are offering but what i am trying to say commerce should be the last option <laughs> okay sir okay sir hope you understand because they are very disconnected stream it will not help you any Uh, joshita if you have already decided you will go for psychology then it is better to do it for two years and you know you get a head start in the other uh, admission exams for the other colleges uh, if not only for bombay right but if you are still not sure what you want to do then i think uh, you should go for you know commerce if you want you want to have a 
uh, to keep your options open and you're not sure. As Sir said, if you are sure that you want to go for psychology, why do you want to uh, not study psychology in 11th and 12th? There's no reason right. for that, right? That's what right. uh, Sir okay. is saying. Yes, and I think uh, uh, commerce should be definitely be avoided because it's a completely disconnected field of study. Uh, I think Anahita also had a similar. Uh, yes, option. yes. What are the career options if I take up psychology and biology as my main subjects in eleventh and twelfth? So uh, these are, you know, not the uh, not the study areas which are mass employer. Okay. Uh, some of them actually end up going to the management jobs rather than pursuing psychology as their uh, long-term career as a core. It is uh, same thing like many engineers who are doing mechanical engineering actually end up being a software developer. So uh, psychology, while after graduation, uh, many students actually shift towards the general uh, management jobs. Uh, only a few continue pursuing it and then... Uh, there are long-term careers uh, within the field of psychology, which are also some of them are, uh, uh, you know, uh, medical uh, in the medical field, where you uh, cure the people with the, uh, you know, mental uh, uh, problems, uh, you know, like depression or distraction or uh, other things, uh, which are also growing uh, as a problem in the society everywhere across the world. Uh, and uh, also in some other areas, they are absorbed by specific departments in the advertisement uh, and the uh, PR and the strategy departments. So, for example, if somebody wants to design and uh, decide between five um, advertisement schemes, so uh, a view from psychology that how it will look from the uh, mass consumer base, uh, some of these aspects are important because psychology uh, gives you an idea how a normal human being thinks. I think what Sir is trying to uh, say uh, is that Anahita, there are two streams involved here. One is the medical one that is psychiatry. So if you are interested in psychology and you want to go ahead with biology, chemistry, you can go for the medical exams and choose psychiatry. And there's another one that you do with the arts or BSc that is psychology. Two are different streams. In one, you are a doctor. In the other one, you are just a specialist. So you can go ahead and BSc, MSc. There are a lot of career counselor options there, career counseling and psychological counseling, working with children and uh, there's something called uh, occupational therapy, etc. Right, but that's non-medical. So if you want to go yeah. for science, try the medical yeah. exam, yeah. then you become a medical practitioner in psychology. That is psychiatry. So that's another option. Right. Yes. Right. Next question, and, uh, please. Yeah, sir, carry on. Good afternoon, sir. One question which has come to me is from uh, uh, Rugved uh, Patil. Uh, it's like comparison between state board and CBS. So. Uh, so the PCM for 11th and 12th for Maharashtra board and the CBSC has almost 75-80% overlap in terms of content index. The number of cha the, the chapters, the syllabus coverage is almost 75-80% uh, same. Uh, there are some differences in uh, some chapter there is more depth in CBSC. In couple of chapters there is more depth in Maharashtra board also. So, um, I would say that uh, if your larger goal is to pursue a career in a particular field, uh, state board and uh, CBSC will be pretty much same. CBSC might have little bit of advantage uh, if one were to say in terms of alignment, but there is, I don't think that's uh, very, very material per se. I mean, that's my personal opinion. But sir, for okay, uh, sir, the, sir. most of the admission tests, right? All India admission test, you have CBSE syllabus as the questions, right? From NCRT questions uh, for most uh, of the co uh, colleges, engineering colleges, if it's for engineering or medical. Is uh, it so? So, ma'am, the, uh, so the view is that uh, the all the state boards curriculums are also uh, pretty much aligned with the same curriculum. Uh, and there are not too many differences. And okay. secondly... The competitive exams always come out with their own syllabus. For example, JE will say, this is my syllabus. NEET will say, this is my syllabus. And these syllabi are typically very, very common with both state as well as CBSC. So in my personal opinion, there is you know, not much difference because all these exams require 
uh, a slightly higher level of preparation, which anyway covers all the basics. Okay, so thank you. So any other query? Sir. Yes. Good afternoon, sir. Um, I have decided to take commerce and math in uh, 11th and 12th grade, and I have decided to go with CS and corporate law after that. So, what would be your advice on that? No, so I think uh, um, this is very good to have clarity, and if you pursue commerce, uh, so CS is slightly uh, easier exam because it uh, it is more to do with the compliance side of it. Uh, obviously, CA would have been a little more trickier, and law again goes very, very well with CS because both of them are uh, uh, by nature uh, to ensure the compliance with the law of the land um, from um, both corporate law as well as uh, you know all the other laws. Uh, so it's a good choice, and uh, if you want to pursue from the top law universities, you will have to take entrance exam called CLAT, C L A T. And uh, this is an aptitude test, uh, so you can take CLAT. Uh, maths typically is of tenth, eleventh standard. Uh, not very tricky, but uh, their English is also there, and uh, uh, they also give you. Uh, they also ask you to uh, know a little bit of the basic law, so they give you a, a reading list which you can read, and uh, then there is a component of uh, general knowledge. So you can take uh, CLAT, join one of the LUs. and nlus and um, also pursue cs uh, side by side okay sir so uh, because i had thought that i was first uh, complete my cs course and then i will go for clat so uh, i would say that after 12th you can take clat and uh, cs can anyway happen side by side cs you can study later uh, exam can be given later clat should be taken for the graduation level From to, uh, class twelve onwards, right? Right. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma the next, the next question: What is the best option for hotel management in eleventh and twelfth and banking? So, what would you suggest? So, uh, ma'am, hotel management is a generalistic management course, and same is true for the banking. And uh, there is no restriction on this uh, on uh, you know what should be taken as eleventh and twelfth, but. if your longer term passion is for going into management field whether it is banking or the hotel management it may be a good to choose commerce side in 11th and 12th because it gives you a flavor of business studies economics as well as the basics of accounts and all these things build a basic foundation for the long term career in uh, in management and obviously there are similar to iit for engineering there are Uh, indian institutes of hotel management iihts across various states and there is a competitive exam for that and uh, you can take that thank you sir i'm sure that answer her question anyone else please uh, there is a question my interest in computer science and aerospace but i am unable to choose admiss to uh, Vedhi, um, sir, could you speak a little both, louder? Your voice is going very muffled, not very clear. Sorry, Vedhi has asked a question. Uh, she wants to choose between computer science and aerospace. Uh, so both are very very different, Vedhi. I mean, aerospace per se is very uh, very few options in India. Most of the candidates who take aerospace have to either go for software development. or go out of india for pursuing ms and get employed by you know uh, some of these companies like rafal or uh, boeing etc uh, in india not too many options there are a few companies who do research uh, outsourced research for the international companies uh, but for computer science obviously we have uh, 100 times more options within india also and uh, as a field of study uh, i mean yes, both sir, are different thank you and you can do uh, i mean even if you do a 10 minute uh, google you will understand uh, what are the ingredients of these yes sir okay sure thank you sir okay thank you vaidehi any other question can you talk uh, more yes. about A afmc afmc is uh, uh, the name of the college and they used to conduct uh, their own exams uh, what i am hearing is that nowadays they are also considering uh, through need but let me just uh, confirm on it once they have very few limited seats and uh, you are required to serve the uh, the armed forces of the country 
uh, this is not a general medicine i mean you can't go to a normal uh, uh, normal hospital for that after that so there are some uh, restrictions that certain years you have to serve the country and it is a subsidized uh, medical course and uh, the selection rate is a uh, very very low in that it's not a general uh, mbbs uh, kinjal has asked again that she has dropped maths for 10th that is she has taken i think the basic maths or not taken maths at all so now if how will she go for commerce and banking mm -hmm. and for hotel management which stream stream would you ask her to prefer so uh, if you are taking 11th and 12th commerce and banking uh, for commerce and banking there is a course called uh, applied math in uh, cbsc which uh, requires uh, you know not too many uh, difficult things and uh, i am sure uh, you will if you pick up applied math you will be able to do justice with uh, that but sir she so can study commerce also without taking maths isn't it you have accounts uh, uh, business studies uh, that's so what that she's asking always, no no that option is always there but i'm saying uh, so that option is a default option many people don't take that but uh, uh, and most of them take up a standard math or a applied math so if you take applied math and it will help you throughout your uh, life in a long term Uh, that is just my suggestion that you may take applied math if you don't want to go for the pure math. And uh, what about hotel management? For that, which stream would you ask her to take? Again, uh, for all managements, in my opinion, you should go for commerce because it, it is they are not teaching you deep accounting, basic of accounting, basic of economics, basic of business studies, which includes all streams like uh, marketing, strategy, operations, management. Everything is covered. it at least gives you a right platform in 11th and 12th uh, to build the foundation so kinjal you can take commerce you don't need to take maths for that uh, as a right. three subjects might be business studies economics accountancy these are the general ones that are given in the schools and fourth subject you can take either ip or entrepreneurship or you know uh, graphic design anything there are lots of optional subjects right. as a fourth subject even uh, even from arts you can get into hotel management so if yes, you yes. Uh, if you don't want to even take accounts then uh, you can choose for your arts options so. any other question please uh yes um, um statistics so if, if someone is good at maths is statistics an option yes yes it is and as i told you uh our, the need for analyzing data because nowadays uh, data is uh, everything right every everything every decision every strategy is is based on data and analysis so the need of uh, people in the analytic department of every company is growing and uh, statistics is definitely offering good career options uh do we get reservation in mh medical courses maharashtra medical colleges if we do our 10th and 12th from cbsc school in maharashtra uh i think for the reservation uh, it is not dependent on cbsc what it is more of a domicile so you have to secure a domicile certificate you can take, you can be studying any board but uh, domicile certificate is required that you have been staying for so many years in maharashtra so typically who do 9th and 10th and 11th and 12th uh, my understanding is that it's easy to get uh, domicile certificate because you have stayed uh, four years in maharashtra so uh, you are not domicile meaning how long are you in maharashtra no no so i i'm saying as per the requirement uh, uh, they ask you to get a domicile certificate yeah that's what i'm saying you have to get a certificate but if his father is in central government that means he's been roaming around right that so i am saying it is uh, it is not to do with the, i think the father but i think ah. the student needs to be staying in maharashtra for yeah so you can get years. a procure a certificate for given the, that you are a domicile of maharashtra and then uh, you will get a quota a reservation and also uh, girls have a quota and then you have quotas based on the Uh, minorities so all those are there correct 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 so uh, i mean again i am not an expert on this uh, thing but uh, you can just find out uh, uh, on this 
so we so, were just talking about some other jobs also like options like we were talking about uh, someone also already discussed hotel manager i was talking about nursing because we do need a lot, lot of medical helpers as you said allied uh, jobs allied health services so could you talk about hospital management and nursing once correct so hospital management uh, and the nursing and the allied medicine medical services includes uh, overall operations of uh, you know icus at, and uh, you know the basic nursing etc uh, uh, these are required the understanding of medicines but don't require you to be an mbbs for it and uh, there are uh, uh, career options evolving in this which are both management and non management uh, kind of jobs and uh, depending on your passion uh, and uh, you know interest you can choose one of these courses students will share sir's number after this sir will you share your number in the chat box there are some students who want to ask you personally uh, they want to contact you in person and talk to you uh, sure ma'am uh, yeah. i will and uh, so we were talking uh, just i had one more query these are uh, you know um, jobs in the air force the navy uh, military these are not taken by women so much you know the short services and all would you recommend them because we get a lot of government support if we get those jobs isn't it uh that's true ma'am and uh, the situations are improving and uh, uh, i think more and more participation of uh, women in the defense services is happening uh, but i will be honest i i don't have expertise to that level i can tell you uh, there are other exams other than nda where you can go into non combative uh, departments of the forces uh, not all uh, departments are combative uh, there are non combative departments and definitely uh, you can opt many of them so, so what would be it after 12th standard you can join or after 12 plus after 3 12. graduation no, no, after 12 no 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 after 12th also you can join and after graduation also you can join from any stream uh, we get an option right from any stream from any stream you are right ma'am ma'am I yes, take the liberty to answer that, if you permit. Uh, yes, the Go defense ahead. jobs for girls, in particular, is not available after twelfth. For after twelfth, it is NDA, for which you need to be a science student, and it has to be only for boys. For girls, you have to do your graduation in any stream, and then you can uh, appear for an exam called C D A C. C D A C. So that C D A C exam is available after graduation for girls. in which uh, if you apply you are eligible for uh, like depending on your ranking for choose your career in air force navy or uh, whichever like army or whichever stream you want besides the defense services after completing your graduation in any stream you can go for ssc and upsc exams which are conducted for crpf and uh, police forces also and the paramilitary forces also so based on that you can uh, if you compete for that exam you again have option for all ranks like they conduct for officer rank they also conduct for clerical ranks i mean so they, uh, it is they are like uh, okay. that those are the options available for girls after graduation okay and uh, it's very good career mm. and for girls only thing is they should be prepared for a transferable exactly. job because exactly that is why i wanted to ask this question thank you so much i wanted yeah, to open the eyes of the day. girls also that they could go for these jobs but they will be transferred but you are getting transfer in every job nowadays so i don't think that will be a problem previously people used to think of that so it was just an i wanted to open their eyes to that thank you ma'am thank you so much uh last question to sir sir what about ias uh, civil services if you can just talk about that because nobody else has any questions i believe uh ma'am uh, most of these exams are after graduation and uh, again they are highly competitive exams uh so uh, there are state level uh, uh, service commissions as well as union level and uh, both jobs are available through competition so there are written exams and uh, multiple layers and uh, some interviews are also there uh, some some of the entries are uh, you know purely based on written and uh, written exams and um, uh, so they can prepare for it some of these students uh, but uh, i have seen very very few people who have that clarity from uh, 10th onwards and for that you can uh, focus on one or two subjects uh, uh, for the graduation 
and continue fixing those things but other than that uh, reading general knowledge uh, current affairs and uh, news and uh, curating your understanding on all domains uh, across uh, the subjects uh, always helps uh, so the current affairs and gk is a very very important aspect of those exams thank you sir i think that is all for the session uh, we would like to wrap up sir has given his number 982045 5036 in the chat box if you are interested you can note it down and ask him your queries we are also there in school those who are interested can ask your class teacher i'm sure she will find out an answer if you are in doubt you can also speak to any of the teachers there in school and they will be very happy to you know guide you i would like uh, priyanka ma'am to show the last slide as the session comes to an end i would like to thank uh, mr vivek vashne on behalf of godar international school cbsc nerul thank you sir for guiding me the students as they did not give the exam they are you know a little lost maybe uh, and they did really need this guidance from teachers and you know when we call someone a speaker from uh, outside you know he gives some other perspectives also so i'm sure it it's added to what the students were told by school we thank you again uh, i would like to thank our principal ma'am mrs soma chatterjee for giving this platform for the students to discuss with sir their career options and understand what they like the best i would also like to thank our vice principal morning shift mrs gauri bhattacharya who helped us coordinate and arranging the session i also would thank the parents and students for being with us i would also thank the class teachers for coordinating with the students to make this uh, the session a success i would also uh, like to thank mr sisodia who had contacted me and who was the contact person for the session thank you sir thank you so much in the end i would like to say that it's very important to know what you like what you would like to do once you know what you would like to do with subjects you like to study you can always do very good you know you will do put in your best in that and then you can succeed in any line based on your interests if you do something which you are not interested in it's very difficult to succeed so this is the time you choose what you really like to do and then pick up the subjects you know based on that and go ahead we uh are all wishing you all the best for your future for the career you take for the subjects you choose we are always there for you if you need any doubts you can talk to your class teacher she can connect to any one of us obviously sir has also given his number you can talk to the principal ma'am vice principal ma'am there too who would help you with your career choices thank you very much i would request the principal ma'am is there uh, to end the session ma'am yeah so i thank you all once again i want to finally thank mr vivek and mr uh, neem sishodia as well as i want to thank mr uh, manjrekar who had connected me with them and then i could take this forward to the team and today uh, it is only possible because of that i want to thank all the parents for the patience they have shown till the date and i want you to again uh, i plead you to keep patience some more we will come up with good uh, news uh, for your next step and you i wish all the students best of luck for their future and uh, more than that i would also ask you to be a good human being which is very important at present present time more than the qualification and degrees you should be a very good human being and you would be also also there to help each other in times of need thank you all once again and all the best god bless all thank you ma'am thank you sir thank you thank you very much. Now can we all log out? Yes, ma'am. I will end the session. Yes, ma'am. Thank, Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. Yes, please, ma'am. Or oh, will the people?
will it be sent to us i don't think so uh, i can okay. ask him and see i have not uh, spoken about this i'm talk to check. him he has got given you the phone number yeah, you can he can see. guide you yes sir ma uh, sorry uh, okay yeah. okay thank you thank you so much ma'am thank you all the best uh, to the students we are logging out